chapter is the painting, What Lies Beneath. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about what inspired me to make it, um, some of the techniques I used, and some of the things that if you're buying online, you may not notice um, unless you're face to face with the painting. So hopefully I can capture that for you. Uh, first of all, the title, What Lies Beneath, uh, that was given to me by a, a young woman I know. Uh, she's a little friend of mine. And when she saw this painting, that's what she thought of as a good title. And I thought, that's perfect, because I would struggle with titles. And so What Lies Beneath, it focuses on this one whale. And the story behind this whale is the fact that uh, this, this canvas held three different paintings. I kept going over a painting and, and it just never really clicked for me. So I would just rework it, rework it. And if you do that, finally, it gets to a point where you have so much paint on the canvas. And if it's acrylic to begin with, uh, you can actually peel off layers of acrylic. And so I did that with this painting. I didn't want to waste a canvas because um, they're expensive. And so um, I peeled off all these layers of acrylic pour, which I do usually as the first step for a painting, and I was left with this um, very interesting kind of grunge effect of all the colors I used for all the previous paintings. And so when I was peeling that off, I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. I like, I like grungy things. And then also I left this one section up here from one of the paintings that I was doing, and because it's just really beautiful when uh, you look closely at it. It looks like bubbles um, to me. And so when I saw the bubbles and when I saw this gray section, grungy thing, I just immediately thought for some reason that it should be a whale in the ocean alone. And so I was doing this um, just, to, just to fulfill that desire to do something new because I don't usually paint whales, and, but you know, I like them. So why not? And so what I did was preserving this area and this area, I applied more acrylic medium to give it more texture around it. And so you notice here below the bubble section, there's a lot of swirls and those that's texture swirls around the whale. And so those texture swirls, I applied a iridescent uh, paint to those. And so when you walk by the painting, the light shifts on the swirled areas. And that just lets you see more colors like teals and turquoises and um, some purples and violets in there. So it just, you know, when I do that, I, I like the painting to change as the day goes on in your house. And so the light changes in your house throughout the day. So the painting is new every time you see it. And also these side uh, cliffs here, since he's obviously deep in the ocean. Um, I wanted to keep them simple because I wanted the focus to be on the whale because he's pretty schnazzy with his grunge effect. So I wanted him to be the focal point. And then I also wanted to apply some depth so that you know you realize he's, he's a huge whale in the distance. So to do that in the foreground, um, I made some coral um, items here and they have a lot of texture as well. Um, there's some sandy areas. If you feel them, it feels like sand. And then this I used some acrylic medium and applied it over um, a mesh material and then pulled the mesh off and it, it leaves these real ridges and it actually feels like coral, um, those coral fans. And so I did that in the foreground so that there's some interest there. It feels like you're looking in the distance. With a lot of my paintings, when I do some, you know, some a focal point in the painting, I usually keep them alone, whether it's a person or an animal or a tree. Um, I, I appreciate solitude, I'm an introvert. So you'll see that a lot in my work. You'll see the alone object in a hopefully beautiful surrounding area. So um, that's why there's just one whale. He doesn't have a baby, he doesn't have a, a friend by him. So he's just one, he's just hanging out in the ocean enjoying solitude. So that's what I feel when I look at it. You may feel something else, but um, it was a fun project to do. It was um, use of several different materials. I did oil painting for the detail work, acrylic for the pore area. That's consistent in my work. You can also buy prints of it that are larger. So if you want a big whale on your wall, you can get a print that's bigger. So, but if you want a smaller one, that's fine too. So I hope you enjoy it. And as much as I do, I just like looking at him and he looks peaceful. So I hope you like what lies beneath.